Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to stake the GLMR or Glimmer tokens on the Moonbeam network. So all the links are going to be down below in the description if you want to check this out. And uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the uh, video. So as you can see, we are at apps.moonbeam.network slash moonbeam slash staking. So this is where you're going to be staking. Now, the first thing you need is obviously the GLMR token. So you want to buy those and you want to have a MetaMask account ready. And uh, for this MetaMask account, uh, would have to, you'd have to set up the Moonbeam uh, chain on or you have to enable the Moonbeam chain. And how you can actually do that is through uh, introducing a new chain into your MetaMask. So how do you do that is very simple, really. What you need to do is you open up the MetaMask. And then you click on the chain and you click add network. It's going to take you to this page. Uh, meanwhile, we can take a look here. Uh, there is the MetaMask extension, obviously, that you need to get. And it's really easy to set up if you don't know how to set up the MetaMask account yet or the MetaMask wallet, I should say. Then maybe it's a bit too early for you to be looking into decentralized staking in such a way. So maybe just take it easy and take it step by step. Don't push yourself too soon. And uh, yeah, this is how you set it up. And for example, if you want to connect to Moonbeam and uh, yeah, that's actually already already connected to Moonbeam. That's why I don't have it. For example, if I want to connect it to Moon River, we're going to get a prompt asking us to connect to uh, the Moon River network, but we don't want to do that right now. But you can also check out their video on the YouTube channel here, uh, the Moonbeams network YouTube channel. So once you have that set up, um, you can move forward with sending your GLMR tokens to your MetaMask wallet. And essentially what you need to do is you need to buy some GLMR on a centralized exchange or wherever you buy your GLMR tokens. You want to copy this address here. You just want to click that uh, and it's going to copy your address and you want to paste that into your exchange or wherever you have your GLMR at and you want to send it over to this uh, to this wallet and make sure the network is set to Moonbeam. As you can see, I have 1,008 tokens. So we're going to be staking here. And um, what you want to do is, first of all, you want to choose your delegator or your collateral, I should say. So there are multiple collaterals here. Each collateral has uh, their own minimal bond and their own APY rewards. So to check which one you would be compatible with, you need to see what is the limit or what's the minimum amount you need to be staking, of course. So if you don't meet that requirement, then you're not able to you're not able to stake with them. I would uh, look for staking with some of the centralized exchanges. For example, you have Binance staking, you have some other centralized exchanges, and I would look for uh, staking. I would look for uh, collaterals who are verified here. As you can see, we have those ticks. So that's how you choose your collateral. If you want to double check um, and research the collaterals, you can do that as well. And there is a list of collaterals over here uh, that you can access through the collaterals uh, link on the left hand side. It, it takes you to this page. You just want to find your collateral here. And here's all the info regarding this specific collateral. So their name, the self stake. So this is how much the collateral staked himself. You have the total delegator stake which is 3.4 million tokens. And you have the total stake, which is the collateral plus the delegator stake. And then you have the total rewards in tokens. And then you have the uh, mini bond, which is, or the minimum bond, I should say, which is 101 tokens and uh, average blocks, 25.9 blocks. And the current APR is 10.6%, 10.68%, which is pretty good. If you go up here and you click, um, on the top APRs, it's basically one of the higher ones, uh, but uh, for the highest collateral here, you would need to have at least 1200 tokens. And um, yeah, that, that's how you that's how you choose your collaterals. You can obviously go for a different one here. For example, some of these may have a higher APR, so you could potentially go for those. I'm going for Paradox probably. And before we continue with the video, guys, I quickly want to give a shout out to everyone who has joined my Patreon. Thank you very much. And if you want to become a part of the Patreon and, uh, you know, 
get access to a lot of exclusive content such as podcast episodes for patrons only, my trade alerts, my entire portfolio. I share everything that I buy and everything that I sell. If you want to leave some requests, we can take a look at your projects on Patreon. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. I try to do daily updates and daily posts in there. So if you want to try it out for free, you can do that as well. There's a seven day free trial, so you can do that. And let me know what you think. Let's get on with the video. Actually, I'll be going with the second one here. So uh, the APR here is a bit higher, and uh, this is one of the most uh, popular ones on the on the chain. So we're going to be going with the second one here that has 3.5 uh, delegators and or 3.5 tokens delegated and 3.6 total. So if we go back to the uh, delegate part of the screen, you can see that this is the one that has. Uh, let me just double confirm. There you go. So this is the one that we're going to be going with. You just have to make sure you find it and you compare the names and uh, make sure you have the right collateral. And as you can see, we have uh, the minimum set to 50. And obviously I have a lot more than that. Here you can choose how many tokens you want to be delegating. So uh, what we want to be doing is we want to leave some GLMR in case we need to pay some fees because we are going to need to pay some fees. So what we can do is we can, for example, just leave one token or two tokens. Uh, for fees and we can stake 1006 glmr tokens and you want to click delegate and then you're going to get this pop-up that's going to ask you to pay uh, some fees i assume and uh, confirm the transaction so the total gas fee here is 0 0.00739 glmr tokens which is really really cheap so you click confirm um transaction failed okay so Browser extensions, some of them might be incompatible. And there we go. So we have the uh, delegation set in stone. If you open up your MetaMask wallet, you're going to see that uh, the tokens are actually, no, they're not gone. They're not gone yet. Yeah, they're not gone yet. So the first one failed for some reason. Uh, sometimes that could happen, but the second one through here and it's, it's looking, uh, Rate. It's also auto compounding 100% of the reward. So, for example, if you make um, whatever you make in rewards from this staking is going to be sent back into your initial pool, which will increase your next reward, which is also great. So that's called auto compounding. And uh, that's pretty much everything. Um, show balances. Yeah, so there we go. You have your total, uh, you have your reserved in staking, and you have your free balance, which is 2.7 tokens. We'll have that just in case we need to pay some fees. And that's pretty much everything. That's as easy as it gets. Make sure you don't lose this wallet because you're going to need this wallet to then unstake and undelegate the tokens. So make sure this is um, this is safe and uh, you have the 12 phrases or 12, um, 12 words for the seed phrase. Uh, saved up so make sure you don't lose this wallet and uh, yeah that's pretty much everything if you still have any questions let me know down below in the comment section hopefully you have a great day and take care